guys, so I've been talking to Deanna McKinney. That is Austin's mom since January, almost on a weekly basis. And this whole entire time, she's just wanted answers. She wants to know where her son was, who did it, and why. And with the discovery of that body in Norwich just yesterday, it, even though it's not Austin's yet, we don't know, we haven't been able to confirm it yet, she believes it could be the start to finding that closure that she has so badly wanted for months now. It was news Austin Colson's mom has waited four months to hear. They went into a building, a farm, a barn, and um, that there was a section of it that was unstable for anyone to go into, um, but they could ha they could see that there was some type of remains. Vermont State Police say those remains were found on this property in Norwich, just a 23 minute drive down a dirt road where Austin's trailer was found back in January. There was a bad stench, um, so they had to call some uh, other people down who can uh, stabilize that section of the barn so they could go in. Police believe Richard Whitcomb was the last person to see Colson. Investigators say the two sold scrap metal and cocaine together. The convicted felon is facing unrelated federal firearms charges. Come forward. I mean, we've got the body. We know it's you. Just be honest. I mean, you're still looking at time in jail for the gun charges. You need to just come forward and let us know what happened. That's all I've ever, ever wanted to know. Deanna says her little boy grew up loving to fish, hunt, and spend time with his little sister. I really didn't even care who did it, just why. He was only 19 when it happened, and it, no one should have taken his life at that age. Last few months, she celebrated Mother's Day, Austin's 20th birthday, without him. And she has just really, like I said, wanted these answers. And we are now waiting for that autopsy report to be delivered to us from Vermont State Police. They told us just a few hours ago that could come in the next hours. Uh, it could also come in the next day. So it's just a matter of waiting. Live in Waterbury, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.